honestly, somebody is just heartbroken. You know, as soon as the moon came out, and the moon can stand for a lot of things, you guys. Usually I see it as things that are hidden or a big change happening. Uh, as soon as this card came out, I felt depression and darkness and sadness, you know? That melancholy feeling. And, that, and then this person comes out, right? This is somebody in a lot of regret, a lot of remorse, suffering a loss in their life. Um, especially when it comes to a love choice that they made. You know, they made the wrong choice. This is somebody who made a major mistake with their life. They turn their back on a soulmate connection and that's who they want. And I feel like, you know, um, like I said, the moon stands for things that are hidden. Underneath this cloak that this person is wearing, they're trying desperately to hide how they feel. But see, you know, I'm probably the only reader out here, but I see this as kind of the hermit without the hoodie, okay? Um, it's a lot of thought that this person is in, but um, these are really sad thoughts. This is more emotional. And, and you know, I feel like they're, they've been trying to hide it, but this person doesn't have the hoodie on their cape because it's boiling to the surface. You know, this is something that's just like this, this kind of depression that I'm feeling here off of this person and heartache, um, feeling out in the cold. I mean, this is like um, despair. I feel like this person's in despair, okay? Um, they're in a really dark place in their life here. I kind of feel like they want to just walk away from everything. That's the feeling I'm getting. I, I get the feeling like this person just wants to walk away from everything. Everybody who's bothering them. Because I'm getting the, the sense that they're in despair. When a person's in despair, a lot of times they just want to be alone. You know what I mean? They just want to be alone to think, to process the emotions, to cry by themselves without having to turn their back and hide their face in their shirt. You know what I mean? Um, and I feel like that's what this person's doing. They're completely pulling away here, and I feel like they're kind of walking away from everybody. Like right now, this person is literally in hermit mode, I got to say. Um, they're in a lot of despair. They're, they're suffering a huge loss. Uh, because they realize this choice that they made really effed up their life. And I feel like they're walking away kind of from everybody in their life. Friends, family, all of these cups. Um, co-workers, anybody who wants to talk to them. They don't want to talk to anybody. This person's kind of on shutdown mode. But in a very um, emotional way. Okay. I feel like their only bright spot here is wanting to reunite, wanting to build something solid, wanting the person from their past back. That's all this person really wants to, to think about. Um, and, you know, sometimes when a person is in this state of despair, they kind of like to roll around in that for a little bit. You know what I mean? I, I feel like... Um, this is purging that this person is doing. I feel like they're doing a lot of crying here. This is crying. I mean, they're hiding it. See, they're hiding their face, but this person's crying over things. They know whatever they chose didn't have any love in it. It got them absolutely nowhere, okay? Um, like I said, their life has been messed up since they turned their back on this soulmate connection here. And all they can do is kind of wallow in that despair. Have like an emotional, it's almost like an emotional breakdown in a way. Okay? But they're, they're sort of on shutdown mode here. Um, in a lot of deep thought, emotional deep thought over the soulmate connection and this person from their past. You know, they keep going over these fond memories, a time when they were happy. I mean, all of this darkness and heartache, right? Look at all of this darkness and heartache. And then we've got this bright yellow. I feel like you're their only bright spot. You really are. 
but just thinking about it makes it just brings the tears up again. I mean, I kind of want to cry right now. Um, this person's making me feel all sad. Their energy is really intense. Just a lot of sadness, man. A lot of sadness, a lot of despair. Um, Third-party heartache. I feel like something's coming out into the open. This person could have just been cheated on. That would be just be an extra kick in the gut. That this, maybe this is why they just don't want to talk to anybody. I feel like, too, this person's finding, they could be finding out there could be a baby involved here. But I, I, get, the, I get the feeling like this is them finding out um, that whoever they chose over you has cheated on them. And remember that despair that you felt, right? When this person... Um, put you in a third party, broke your heart, right? Ghosted you, abandoned you, all of that. That's what this person's feeling right now, you know? And I feel, yeah, it's a major tower moment for your person. And they're thinking to themselves, oh my gosh, I was such a fool for walking away from my soulmate. I walked away from my six of cups for my soulmate connection just to be cheated on. Um... Yeah, I feel like they're they're leaving that situation, whatever karmic. And I, I wanna I wanna say it was a karmic situation because there's so many karmic situations coming to an end now. Secrets are coming to light. Um, these masculines can't take the burdens of these karmic relationships anymore. Their life has gone down the tubes. Um, fast, really fast. And they're, re they're finding out about cheating. So I feel like a home situation is coming to an end, all right? A very abrupt, fast end. And uh, your person's walking away from that. They're like, see ya. And they're, they're going off to take this journey on their own. Um, I feel like they just need some time. All they can do, all they want to do is run to you. They know that... Um, You've got this tenderness about you, Collective. Whoever I'm talking to, you're, you're like a healer, okay? You're a healer. Um, and you were, you were so kind to this person. And you were probably the one person out of everybody that they know that wouldn't hurt them ever. Look at the mitten on your hand, right? You would have never hurt this person. Completely innocent love. This is somebody that... You may have known for your whole life, even, for some of you. You could have kids with this person, right? Um, but I feel like um, they're just remembering you were gentle with them. You were nurturing and kind with them. You looked up to them. You trusted them. Now all they want to do is run to you. Seriously, they've been betrayed here. I feel like they've been cheated on. Um, they're in a great deal of, of despair and loss. I'm actually kind of worried about this person right now, whoever this is. I'm actually a little bit concerned about this person because they, they are, um, they're, in, they're in a time of despair, great despair. And they're not really talking to anybody. But like I said, pretty much everyone in their life they're just walking away from right now because they don't, they just want to be alone to process this pain. Like, it's really deep, you guys. It's really deep. I feel like even though this situation here, this home situation for them is coming to an end, they're finding out about cheating, they still have this page of swords following them, following them around. Uh, this is whoever they've been with, the one I feel has cheated, okay, this page of swords. They're still clingy. They're still watching your person like a hawk. Like this person just wants to, they just want to turn their back and hide the tears and process the dang pain already, you know? And this page will not leave them alone, just chases after them. Um, wanting to cling on, but I feel like this is somebody, that this page of swords that they've been with, is, I, I feel like they've been cheating. So now they're, they're, they're caught cheating, 
and they're they're still running after this person and your person's like i just want to be left alone i just want to be left alone and i feel like all the illusions are coming down and they're thinking about you um I, seriously all this person wants to do is run to you and at one point they treated you like an option here but now this person has no more illusions absolute clarity here with the sun card absolute clarity um of what's been going on behind their back in their in this situation here with this page absolute clarity of the choice that they made um and how bad it was for their life okay because their life really did turn to crap when they turned their back on you collective and and they're realizing who you are and really what you were to them, man. You know? I, this person's about to take... You're literally the only one that they want to talk to. I got to say, you're the only one out of everybody that they know. Right? Like, this could be mom. This could be my brother. You know, the brother. This could be the friend next door. The neighbor. The page. Um... Any other friends they may have, whatever, uh, everybody, everybody that they talk to in their life, they don't, they don't want to talk to anybody but you. You're the only one they want to go to. The one they walked away from is the one they want to run to in a time of despair. All right, what else can you show me here? I'm sorry. I didn't realize that this was going to come out in this reading. I It's very emotional. I got to say, this person, they, I mean, they're finding out a lot. All the illusions are coming down for this person all at once, and they're feeling a lot of pain and a lot of grief here, guys, for whoever this is for, right? Yeah, I feel like... You're their earth angel here. You're the patient, kind, nurturing one for your person. I like the voice. You're the voice of reason. You are the voice of reason for this person. And they know you were the one person who would not have let them down. And you are not talking to them. The one person they want to go to now you're the one that they left sitting here and I feel like in this energy still this is more like you're protecting yourself you're using your intuition and you're making a decision and you're not talking to anybody especially when it comes to anything toxic and so the one they the one that they left behind is the one that they want to run to and the one that they left sitting here with no answers and no clarity because you were ghosted is their only voice of reason that is so effed up god's with them because this is a divine masculine so this person isn't completely alone i feel like this is when they're this is when they need to be alone so that they can open up to the divine, okay? The sooner they do that, the sooner this person can start their work, their dark inner work, which is what they're about to do. This is what they're about to do, is start the dark night of the soul. They're walking away, going off alone to start their dark night of the soul. And that's when they go to God and they're being called to God because this is a divine masculine and a divine masculine is they're being called to action they're being called to their mission but it's got to start with the work so yeah this is somebody who's going off to start their dark night of the soul I don't know what else to say yeah, they, um, what is this all about? Yeah, look, they were betrayed. They invested in the wrong person, and this person was betrayed. The soulmate connection, was, it, was a, it was a hack job. 
um, whatever, whoever got in the middle of this or whatever, it was, uh, there's been so much damage done to this connection. I feel like collective you have done your work because you're elevated into an earth angel here. You're an earth angel, divine feminine energy. I feel like you're very well balanced. You're being very patient. You're you're very serene is really the word that I'm, I want to say serene, okay? You're not all up in your emotions. You're actually, you're being very silent. You're using your intuition. I think you know what's happening. Deep down inside, you know what's happening, okay? Yeah, your person needs to be alone, but that's, they're requested. They're requested. Um, to be in the presence of the divine right now and that means they have to go it alone to process all this pain go through their dark night of the soul so they can emerge ready to take the, on their mission work as a divine masculine okay and I feel like you know that you know that because you've been through the journey yourself um yeah, they betrayed their empress. Now you're in the empress in the minor arcana energy, okay? You're single. You're very abundant. And I feel like, you know, you've been through every stage of this journey except for, you know, the only pentacle you don't have is that tenth pentacle. The tenth pentacle, the one you don't have, that stands for um, love, right? A commitment. It's all that you don't have. I feel like you've been through this process. So you know what your person is going through right now. You really do. And I'm not asking you to have sympathy for them. But I, I know that you have an understanding for the journey and what, and what they have to learn. Okay? You have an understanding. Let's just say it like that. Um, but you're way ahead of this person. You're way ahead of them. I feel like they need to reach, go through all of these pentacles. You know what I mean? I feel like they need to catch up with you. The only way they can do that is to start their work with the divine. And the only way they can do that is to go it alone. This person is, they're being led into this, okay? Um, but I feel like, too, you're, you're very balanced right now and not in your emotions over this because you're busy. You've taken that pain through this journey and you have created something beautiful for yourself here, something stable. You, you transformed that pain into, into a creative project. Um, and it's paying off. And I think right now you're being blessed with a lot of pentacles possibly a business, something creative, intuitive messages, your spirituality that you're still learning, you're busy. I feel like the divine has given you a lot to kind of sink your teeth into while this person goes through whatever crap they've got to go through. So I feel like, um, I feel like you're doing good, really good, Really, you're very financially stable here as well. Okay, nine pentacles. That's a lot of money to have just for you. You're a single person out here. But it's because you're being led. You listen to the messages, right? Now it's your, per it's your person's time. It's your, it's, now it's time for your person to, to start off on their journey. That's how I'm seeing this card. Turning their back on other people that... You know, it's, been, it's hard to, to walk away from people that you love. Um, but I feel like this person's walking away from everyone just to spend time alone. But during that alone time, what they don't know is they're going to tumble into the, into the dark night. And, but that's where they start their, that's where they do their inner work that they need so bad right now. Okay? They need it really bad. Yeah, this person's in a lot of pain. Very emotional. They're extremely over-the-top emotional right now. Um, they've just been betrayed. They feel, you know, like extra betrayed here because they lost their actual soulmate. 
they feel that connection, they feel the pull on your connection, and they can't be with you right now. You're the only one that they want to run to. You're the only one this person wants to talk to. But I feel like um, they don't know how to come towards you right now. And I feel like that was part of the plan. Because if they don't, if you're the only one that they want to talk to and they don't know how to get to you, that means that they have to go to God. This is a divine masculine that's starting their journey. Okay, make no bones about it. Truth, yes, I'm telling you. Truth, clarity, uh, by them starting this dark night in the soul alone with the divine here at their side, they're going to be opened up to all of this. This is where they, this is where they start getting clarity when it comes to, um, when it comes to their divine instruction, right? The soulmate journey, the twin flame stuff, man. Who they are and what they can do and why they're here. They're, they're going to get all of this clarity, but that takes time, remember? I feel like you've already been patient, collective, and I feel like you've got a, a, you've got a beautiful distraction here to work on while your person is doing the work on themselves. Um, I don't even think you're really feeling it. Like you, you're not a part of this, so you've already kind of taken yourself out. You've detached, and you're focused on you. I feel like just keep staying in your lane, right? Stay in your lane. You may be able to, you may feel this person pulling on your energy because you really truly are the only person that they want to talk to. Uh, they, they really want to talk to you. But I don't think they're gonna talk. I don't think they're gonna talk yet. <laughs> I don't. I see this person not really knowing what to do, having to put, having to process the despair first, okay, um, and spend some time alone with the divine, and then, then once they learn, once they learn their lessons, they get their clarity, then there will be some talking, okay. But right now, this person's trying to process all of this pain. Um, they're just finding out they were cheated on. They're just finding out that they wasted all this time in a toxic situation. They're still being followed around by a karmic. The karmic won't leave them alone. And that's the difference between you and this karmic, right? You know this journey. You know this person needs to be alone to talk to the divine. And go through their, do their inner work. Go through the dark night of the soul, purge, heal, all of it, right? This karmic won't leave them alone. They don't want them to be alone. They don't want them to have time alone. They don't want them to process the pain. They, they, they are just on top of this person breathing down their neck. Not patient, right? Immature, stalking won't leave this just clingy, clingy, clingy energy off of that page of swords. So that, that alone explains the difference between an earth angel and a page. You have knowledge about this journey because you've been through all of the steps. Okay, except for the last one, the commitment. But you've been through this whole journey here so far. And you're an earth angel, and you're patient and kind, and you understand. You understand the process. This page does not. It's ending with them anyway. Um, because the divine wants this masculine. Okay? The divine wants the masculine. Um, so, because the masculine has a job to do. All right, so... Um, Thank you. Yeah, I feel like this person, they don't want to let go. They, they honestly, they're just kind of like, they're sitting here sort of in shock right now. I feel like, I feel like they're in shock, to be honest, because they're, they're getting all of this clarity in one big hit. 
Okay, it's not just a little at a time now. It's in one big punch to the gut. Um, so they're getting they're getting clear on all the time wasted. They're getting clear that this that the relationship they chose didn't have any love in it. They weren't loved. They're they're getting clear on the fact that you were the one who loved them. You know, they're processing this pain. They don't know who to trust. They're walking away from people because they're not at their vibe anymore. I mean, this person's going through a lot. Um, yeah, they want this new beginning. I feel like they're about to have a new beginning because their tower's coming down anyway. Everything that they've known for however long they've been in this situation with this page, it's coming down. So they're, they're really, once they go through this dark night of the soul, once they get closer to the divine, have their realization, figure out who it is that they are, they are going to be able to, this Ace of Pentacles will be waiting for them. It'll be waiting for them on the other side of that dark tunnel. But right now, they got to get with God. They've got to get with God. You know, I feel like, yeah, you know, um, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, a new beginning in love. And, you know, I feel like you too are being very blessed here, but I feel like this is what's waiting for this person. Um, once they're done, you know, once they go through this process, Love, money, a new beginning. And I feel like this karmic, this page of swords, they just will not leave them alone. Okay? Yeah. I feel like that I feel like because this karmic knows they want this new beginning in love and I feel like they want to they want to try to take it. They don't want this person to have it. And the you know what here? Now it's coming down to the page of swords against the divine. The karmic against the divine. Good luck. Good freaking luck on that. You know? Okay. Yeah, I feel like the karmic's following them around because they don't want them to have this new beginning. They don't want them to have this love. Like, I don't, I just feel like they don't, they're, um, they want to win at all costs. Even though this, this page cheated on your person. And they still want to hold your person back from their soulmate connection. We're right back where we started. The one, these two cups here. That's the ones that they um, turn their back on. You literally, you're the only person this one that you're the only person that they want to go to. You are their two of cups. You are the soulmate connection, and this this page over here is doing all they can right now to stop this from happening. Why? We don't know. We don't know why, because they already are sleeping around with somebody else. Okay? They, they already have somebody else. And it's being brought to light here. Some of them could even be pregnant. Okay? So, you know, they're just wanting to win at all costs. And I think it's because um, they've been in competition with you on the down low. Like, you're not competing. They are. But I'm telling you, if this is a twin flame soulmate connection, a past life soulmate connection, six of cups, the lover's card, uh, the two of cups, right? Past life soulmate. And this is a divine masculine. This page is actually going up against God. And like I said, good luck. Good luck with that, page. Good luck with that. All right. Um, yeah. Let me see what this person wants to say to you. I know you're the only one that they want to talk to. Okay. But um, 
the divine has set it up here so that they don't know how to approach you and in a way that's a good thing right now because your person is supposed to be going to god okay all right so what does this person want to say but these here this is waiting for them when they get out of that dark tunnel dark night of the soul this is this is the light at the end of the tunnel for this person Okay, and I feel like you're, you're, ooh, that's too many. I feel like you're being blessed as well. Um, I wonder if you still think about me. How do you feel about me now that you've had time to reflect? Yeah, they're thinking about you. I keep track of you from afar by looking you up online. So they've been watching you, watching whatever you're posting out there. Trying to keep track of your life, following what you've been doing, telling you they're watching you as often as they can. It's right here. They're, they're not sleeping. Their eyes are all dark, dark and sunken. Look at them. They're just obsessively watching you. And you've been listening to the messages you get from the divine. All right, so... What else does this person want to say to the collective? Oh, I can't pick it up. It's always been you. I don't know how to tell you the truth. I want a new beginning. My spirit is always with you. Can you feel me? Do you still love me too? Yeah, see, they don't even know how you feel about them anymore. It's been so long. It's been so long, right? What else does this person want to say to the collective? What does this person want to say to the collective? I know that I crossed the line with you. This one wants to come out. I still have dreams about you and our happy times together. Yeah, they still dream about you, collective. This person's in love with you, and like I said, you know, they're in a lot of regret. Um, and I'm not defending them because they've, they've made their choices, right? They're learning. But um, I will tell you, they don't want to talk to anyone but you. The one that turned their back on you is now the one who wants to run to you, okay? Um, all right, so this one. The timing just wasn't right for us. I'm haunted by us. I didn't follow my heart, and now I don't know how to let you go. 